सो हेलो नमस्कार टू द ऑल केमिस्ट्री लवर्स डॉक्टर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स ऑफ द न्यू फ्यूचर मैं विजय कुमार सोनी आपका हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूँ इन केमिस्ट्री वाला चैनल रिगार्डिंग टू योर वन एंड ऑनली केमिस्ट्री इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द जस्ट अलॉट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज अबाउट द जस्ट इलेक्ट्रोलिटी कंडक्टर्स एज अ कंडक्टेंस कंडक्टिविटी जस्ट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सेल कॉन्सटेंट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कंडक्टिविटी कंडक्टेंस एंड द सेल कॉन्सटेंट मॉल कंडक्टिविटी एंड इक्विलेंट कंडक्टिविटी एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द जस्ट इफेक्ट ऑफ जस्ट इफेक्ट इन फैक्टर विच इन्फ्लुएंस टू द जस्ट कंडक्टिविटी now we time to discuss about the effect of dilution this is a very important and uh, we'll go with the just uh, what it will be the effect of effect of dilution on the just uh, conductivity just uh, molar conductivity conductance and a lot of properties so be with me first of all this is the name of topic is effect of dilution this is the effect of dilution if we we'll go with the the effect of of dilution then first of all this is the conductance conductance as you know that particular किसी भी इलेक्ट्रोलाइट को आपने डायल्यूट कर दिया तो उसका डिसोसिएशन इंक्रीज होगा और डिसोसिएशन इंक्रीज होगा तो नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स का फॉर्मेशन ज्यादा होगा ज्यादा फॉर्मेशन होगा करंट के लिए ज्यादा होंगे करंट के लिए ज्यादा होंगे तो कंडक्टेंस भी ज्यादा होगी so what we can say that just on increasing dilution on increasing dilution we can say just number of current carrier current carrier increases as a you can say cation and anion cation and anion increases resultant resultant value of conductance also increases this was about the just conductance and here the effect will be according to just uh, oswald's dilution law and what is that oswald's dilution law is degree of dissociation alpha is directly proportional to the volume this is the oswald's dilution law oswald's oswald's dilution law dilution law now the time to discuss about the second factor that is your conductivity conductivity okay it is also called as specific conductance specific conductance so what will be on increasing dilution on increasing dilution particular just what will be effect of the on just conductivity so on dilution number of current carrier current carrier in per unit volume in per unit volume decreases so what will be the effect just so conductivity conductivity for strong and weak electrolyte strong and weak electrolyte decreases this was about the conductivity now the time to discuss about the molar conductivity molar and equivalent conductivity equivalent conductivity if we'll go with the just generally for generally for generally just on increasing dilution dilution means addition of water just volume increases so value of lambda m means molar conductivity and lambda v equivalent conductivity also increases this was about the just molar conductivity and equivalent conductivity now the time to discuss about the 
fourth effecting factor. What is that? This is for the molar conductivity just as for strong electrolyte. So, for molar conductivity, molar conductivity for strong electrolyte. Strong, strong electrolyte regarding bath come to particular, no doubt, particular value of uh, molar conductivity increases or increasing just you can say your dilution, but uh, the change will not as uh, proper. Yeah, in particular, bath kare to itna change nahi aata molar conductivity mein dilution pe jitna aana chahiye because of strong electrolyte uska dissolution to pehle hi ho chuka hai. So, in this case, what do we say in particular? That molar conductivity for strong electrolyte molar conductivity for strong electrolyte increases and the value the value can be calculated by d by Hakal on Sagar on Sager equation by the plotting graph between concentration and just uh, molar conductivity and that is your lambda m this is the molar conductivity this is your lambda m infinite minus a root c this is the Debye Huckel on Sager equation we we'll write it as follows this is the Debye Huckel on Sager equation Debye Huckel on Sager equation by using this equation we can calculate the value of molar conductivity for strong electrolyte if we we'll go with the just graphical representation then this is the molar conductivity this is the molar conductivity lambda m this is the concentration c then for the strong electrolyte graph will be as follows we can take over here KCl as a strong electrolyte this was about the just a strong electrolyte now the fifth molar conductivity molar conductivity of weak electrolyte of weak electrolyte also increases also increases because at infinite dilution infinite dilution they exist they exist complete dissociation they exist complete dissociation but for this we cannot but for this we cannot use the by Huckel on Sager equation on Sager equation यानि कि इसके लिए particular weak electrolyte के लिए divide at alone Sager equation को use नहीं कर सकते क्यों नहीं कर सकते because of dilution जब आप increase करोगे तो एकदम से particular molar conductivity की value increase होगी और increase होगी तो particular उसको divide at alone Sager equation से calculate करना possible नहीं है so this was about the effect of dilution on this conductance, conductivity, molar conductivity for weak electrolyte and strong electrolyte Take these topics very seriously because of it is very important for the just CBSE 12th 
आर बी एस ई ट्वेल्थ एंड जस्ट कॉम्पिटिशन एग्जाम ऑल्सो नाउ इफ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द स्मॉलर कनेक्टिविटी बाय डी बाय अकल ऑन सागर इक्वेशन देन वट विल बी सो द वैल्यू ऑफ मॉलर कनेक्टिविटी कैन बी कैलकुलेट बाय यूजिंग योर वन एंड ऑनली कॉल राउस लो कॉल राउस लो मीन्स कॉल राउस लो का यूज करके पर्टिकुलर वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट की मॉलर कनेक्टिविटी इन फाइनल डायल्यूशन पे कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं हाउ and what is the call row slow now we'll go with the call row slow that is very important and uh, it will be a lot of question in board exam and competition exam also regarding to call row slow uh, regarding to one mark maybe as a for three mark maybe as numerical and theoretical also so be with me listen me carefully and it will be just three applications three to four application regarding to call row slow also so this is the call rouse law call rouse law what is that if we want to calculate the just smaller connectivity of weak electrolyte at infinite dilution then it will use of call rouse law because of we can't calculate the value of smaller connectivity by using the by hackel on sager equation इन दैट केस वट विल बी बिकॉज ऑफ यहां सडन चेंज हो रहा है एज आई टोल्ड यू कि पर्टिकुलर उनका जब डिसोसिएशन होगा इन फाइनेंट डायल्यूशन पे तब सडन चेंज हो गया एकदम से मोरल कनेक्टिविटी की वैल्यू राइज होगी और उसको आप डिबाई हकल ऑन सागर इक्वेशन से कैलकुलेट नहीं कर सकते दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो फॉर दिस इट विल यूज ऑफ कॉल डाउट स्लो सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ मोलर कंडक्टिविटी मोलर कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एट इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन एट इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन विल सम ऑफ विल सम ऑफ addition of just you can say some of you can say molar ionic conductivities molar ionic conductivities conductivities of cation and anion cation and anion means particular आपके पास में जो भी इलेक्ट्रोलाइट है या वी कैन टेक जस्ट सी एस थ्री सी ओ एच एज ए वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सो पर्टिकुलर आपके पास में कोई भी वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट है उसके कैटाइन और एनाइन की मोलो एनी कनेक्टिविटी क्या होगी उन दोनों का सम आपके पास में उस इलेक्ट्रोलाइट की मोलर कनेक्टिविटी होगी इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन पे सो फॉर दिस लैमडा इनफाइनाइट एम इज इक्व टू वी कैन टेक जस्ट वी प्लस एंड दिस इज द लैमडा इनफाइनाइट प्लस प्लस V minus lambda infinite minus. This is the call down slope. What are the just V plus and V minus? Lambda infinite m is equals to molar conductivity. Molar conductivity of weak electrolyte of weak electrolyte. And uh, just V plus is number of cation. This is the V minus number of anion. Number of anion. This is the just a lambda infinite plus is your molar ionic molar ionic conductivity of cation of cation and lambda infinite minus molar. ionic conductivity of cation just an anion of an ion this was about the just called out slow if you want to take just example suppose you have as example ethanoic acid 
CS3COOH and it dissociates in CS3COO minus and H plus. So lambda infinite of CS3COOH will equal to lambda infinite of CS3 COO minus plus lambda infinite of H plus. This will be for the cation molar ionic conductivity, molar ionic conductivity for anion, and this is for the weak electrolyte. If there is suppose for the a lot of example we can take just important example. Suppose there is MgCl2 as an electrolyte, then what will be? So this is the regarding to your further electrolyte. If there is MgCl2 second, it dissociates in MgCl2 dissociates in Mg plus 2 and 2 of Cl minus. So here lambda infinite of MgCl2 will equal to lambda infinite of Mg plus 2 plus lambda infinite. It will be 2 lambda infinite of Cl minus 2 lambda infinite of Cl minus you can see here is the number of anion is 2 regarding to here is the V minus if you will go with the just AlCl3 as an electrolyte suppose then it dissociates in Al plus 3 plus 3 Cl minus so value of lambda infinite of AlCl3 will equal to lambda infinite of Al plus 3. This is your plus 3 lambda infinite of Cl minus. This is for the AlCl3. If you will go with the just further example, you can take Al2SO4 whole thrice. So for this it is your 2 of Al plus 3. This is the 3 of Cl minus. This SO4 2 minus. SO4 2 minus. So the value of lambda infinite of Al2 SO4 whole thrice is equal to 2 lambda infinite of Al plus 3 plus 3 lambda infinite of SO4 2 minus. And by using the value of lambda infinite Al plus 3 and lambda infinite of SO4 2 minus, we can calculate the value of lambda infinite of Al2 SO4 whole thrice. This was about the just law of Colrous or you can say just Colrous law through which we can calculate the just value of molar conductivity for weak electrolyte. So dear student, this was about the just effect of dilution on different physical quantities as a conductance, conductivity, molar conductivity and equivalent conductivity for the weak electrolyte as well as strong electrolyte. And uh, this was about the call rocks. So how we can calculate the value of molar conductivity for the weak electrolyte. For the strong electrolyte, we can calculate by using the Bihackel on Sager equation, but it is not possible to calculate for the just weak electrolyte, so it will be use of Kolderov's law and the Kolderov's law is as follows we have discussed we will meet in the next video with a new topic as a applications of the Kolderov's law till then shukriya dhanyavad 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 dhany